Yeah. Now we're supervising the, the external vinyl and see uh, how it's looking, how it's coming together. Yeah. I think that's the plan. It doesn't feel that big for now. No, it's okay. It's a bit small. It's what we expected. We no, already tried in mock-ups. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it, looks, it looks exactly what, yeah. uh, what we had in mind, I think. Yeah. Hey, hi, welcome. Oh, oh hi. welcome to the paradise of graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's our oh. studio. We moved here like two months ago. Um, it's just four of us so far. John was assisting uh, the design of another LCC shows when I was graduating, and he liked my work, so we started speaking there. Maybe a couple of months after meeting that, we said, like, we need to pitch for this. No. <laughs> like, it was like a very stupid idea, but... I knew that we as alumni could apply, so um, we, we got a chance. We insisted, <laughs> and we got a chance to apply for the pitch. <laughs> so when we started working on the proposal, we asked ourselves, what's the role of exhibition design in a visually saturated show? and what's the role of exhibition design in a venue with a complex navigation system. We thought that the biggest challenge for the show was to have a very strong wayfinding system. In order not to compete with the students' work, we thought of having the wayfinding mainly on the floor. Yeah. We also need, I don't know how, we need to find a, a way of actually putting this super straight on the floor, to be honest. This is like, welcome to the studio. <laughs> London College of Communication is actually a very complicated building, so for us it's easy to move around, but we guess that for people who visit, can get lost. LCC isn't a gallery. No, we don't have any like specific gallery places. I think the most kind of gallery-like is probably the well, just because it's separated from everything else. But the whole rest of all of our gallery spaces are basically giant corridors, um, and so the limitations of that are kind of health and safety considerations, sort of sculptural work, where it goes, but also the amount of people that pass through it every day that's potential for work to be damaged. So it's kind of navigating all of those things, but without restricting kind of the creativity of the students. Okay, so down here in WG14 is where a lot of the behind the scenes kind of action takes place. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the people who make things happen for different shows. So my role in particular is around promoting the shows to the public, making sure there's no errors in the print guide, checking all the copy, pulling things together, letting the designers know about any amends they need. So we're talking about kind of college contrast to make sure that the designs are readable, but also as well that we can put them on every single platform and that actually it has impact. Do we shows are the biggest shows that we do, they're the most hands-on. It's around kind of heightened emotions from the students, especially as they're handing in the work and they've got the pressure of putting on exhibition, they've got friends and family coming as well as industry, so it can be quite a pressure cooker. In the opening night, because it gets so busy, this wayfinding on the floor will be activated by human interaction, by performers. We started looking at several references like the staff at uh, Whitney Museum that they are like wearing special like t-shirts so you can spot them and go to ask a question. I think the idea of bringing the performance is trying to understand what are the limits of graphic design. If we limit ourselves to the traditional design of a container, in the end there are many things that are designed that are out of our control and as designers this is something that we don't really want to happen. For the past year I've been working at Tate designing the exhibition and it's been a lot of fun and I learned a lot and it's really exciting but it doesn't go very experimental. It's just always the same thing and everything it's within the guidelines. So if we want to go experimental I think this is the right place to do it. Obviously it's in a museum we won't be able to do what we're doing at LCC so. Yeah. I mean the most important part is the students work. Um. In we go. Yeah. Kelly's going to walk us around the show, show us what state everything's in. This is photojournalism, yeah. documentary photography, uh, who are installing from today. So they've got all of their mock ups up. Yeah. It's a lot more kind of wall based work um, and film and kind of screenings. Including everyone in our office, it's about 18 people, plus we have five technicians working with us, plus two course specific technicians, the AV team, which is another five people. Yeah, there's about 40 people from start to finish in the whole production of the shows. 
like ah, um, oh, not including the designers, so that's 42. My team didn't tell me about this. What's it I've got? Is that it? Uh, yeah, not the designers, but I mean, it's it's up printed in the library, you know. Yeah. Like this is. <laughs> so the wayfinding system has these things on the pegboards, and then here goes the core signage, and then the tapes on the floor, which help people navigate and suggest where they need to go, and also that's where the performer is gonna perform on top of those lines. We're going to have another plinth up here as well, where the performer is going to be both on the floor and on the plinth performing. Um, and the task of this performer is to like, move the people onto Act 3, which is around the corner. Around the corner. So that's kind of his main task. Just <laughs> <laughs> So that then you can say, oh, you may want to go over there. OK? It's the whole same thing, like, here's an artwork. Okay, so it really is much more like spear. From there, then try to see if you can bring the other one across. Yeah, which then allows you to then let them know that you're gonna go maybe this way. So the idea that we had at the beginning is that this uh, active wayfinding is not only uh, guiding you through the building, but also augmenting a little bit the experience, like giving you tips or asking you questions. It also has to do with the idea that graphic design is sometimes a very surface-centric uh, discipline. So we want to like go beyond that, to go beyond the visual. Look at this, look at this. What's in the boxes? Floor tape. What's it for? For the signage, the wayfinding system. We had a really exciting delivery of the flyers. <gasps> Wow, stunning. Mm. On the degree show launch night, we want to go, we want to stream live from Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. So we're doing a tech run through. When are you live? Oh, you can't do it because you're in the, you need to download the app. Oh Lord. Are we live? Yeah, this is, this is the okay, maximum. Should I go live? How do I go live? I've never been live before. The uh, lettering is just really clear. I don't think I've ever seen it just say LCC Degree Shows 2019 on the side of buildings so that you can see it. The bubbles are just dreamy. I just stare at that all day. I love a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> this is a must have, definitely. I think we, the concept of the proposal was to be as much as under, understated in the gallery and as, as extra and over the top as possible online. So. This is part of the concept, so I think we, uh, we have to be live for tonight. We thought of looking at LCC as a diversity of disciplines and not only at the print heritage. Not only that, and also the idea of having a more dynamic and sensorial experience of the visitor in the show. We don't want to like make a tribute to the heritage or like look into the future and aspect of it. We just want to be in the present. Two days away from show two. How do you feel? Um, yeah, terrible. Is it going to be done in time? It will be done in time, but it's always like a high pressure situation where you think that it's not going to happen and then it all comes together in the end. Um, I think it's different to what we've done before. I think it's uh, kind of usually the focus has been more on the schools rather than the college, and this identity unites the whole of the college and all of the courses under one sort of branding system rather than each school having its own individual sort of strand. Love the floor signage. It's something that we haven't done before, but also using the floor is so much more easy to navigate different spaces because they're all connected in different ways. So you're going to get an early night. Ah, uh, yeah. We need to go now back to the studio and get all the tunics, the iron, and prepare everything that we need to bring tomorrow. We forget everything, anything. <laughs> What are we going to wear? I haven't even thought of that. We have tunics for ourselves. Who do you? Who do you? Degree Shows is a massive project. It takes everyone working kind of full on 
for quite a few weeks, kind of everyone in the whole department and across the college really, in the galleries painting walls, writing copy, printing stuff out, sticking stuff together, it's just complete hands on deck really. largest event where the wider public um, come and it's a lot of not because of the students and the friends and the family want to come and see their work um, as well as kind of industry through industry breakfasts and events. It's the point where I think we're representing the college at its best basically in regards to the teaching and um, how we're delivering courses, how students are delivering their work, what they're producing. It's probably one of our most important shows that we do. I think this year has probably been the most successful that we've done. Um, I think it's the most, most kind of cohesive one that we've done. I think it's working on all platforms. It's much more fluid yeah, and much yeah, more definitely. kind of playful yeah. and sort of experimental. Um, we just want to try new things. I think there's been like a formula. Yeah, basically it's, it's how we wanted it this year. And it's kind of, it emphasises the kind of students' work and lets the work itself kind of really kind of pop or shine rather than being blended in with something or competing maybe. I think what makes these grad shows so great is that usually students might not have the opportunity to showcase their things. Especially in London it's expensive to have space so to be able to utilise the space for you at uni is really good. Personally, I found it very interesting because it's inspiring. I was four professionals in the industry as well. Yeah, it was, it was really good and I loved the messages and you could feel the support. You could tell that everyone was there for someone. Not only is it one course, but it's all the courses together, so everyone gets a taste of what LCC is doing, what the students are doing, and it's just overall a really nice atmosphere. Um, always come every year, it's always super busy, there's always loads of good work on, always like having a look around. We're um, here today to catch up with John and Carlos in their studio. Degree shows is over, so we're just going to see like how it all went. Let's go. How was it? it? Uh, I think it was great uh, overall. Of course, there's always like things we would like to improve, but I'm quite happy with the results. Yeah, I think there was a good response from from the audience, and yeah, we did have, have as much fun as we could with all the other things that we were adding, like the performance and the I think that was not part of the brief. I think it's been super interesting because we've been able to explore things that maybe in other places that we worked before haven't been able to explore. We pitched with the right idea to the right, the right place. It's been a little intense and um, a lot of back and forth, but I think that the result is really good, so we're super happy. I agree. Yeah, okay. <laughs>